Welcome back to Brand Sushi Love Nuding. In this episode, I want to share with you this Geometry Notes Note 3. Uh, basically, to create some kind of decaying and rotting donuts with uh, together with all these little silver worms, kind of like a metals. This is like a metals that's eating the tree, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, the whole thing is actually pretty simple. Um, I will try to explain it. Uh, we have these donuts, so I just we just need to supply it with a with a mesh, and then the whole geometry nodes will handle the rest. For example, this Suzanne also we can just use it on Suzanne. Uh, so let's break this down. The worms is actually the uh, very similar to what I did in the previous video, except that I'm using simply uh, just geometry nodes. I didn't use sphere chop add on. Um, let me explain. Where should I start? There's a simple version. For example, I, I this this is the same donut, but in this case, I'm simply using delete geometry. So I didn't apply the worms on this guy. Just simple donuts that's been subdivided. So this is how I I started. Geometry subdivided a couple of times so we have more resolutions and then we use this new node delete geometry the selections you know selections can be on and off zero and one the selection is getting its value from noise texture that's been uh, using the position as input so you can you can animate the noise and it's looking like it's decaying uh, but yeah, I think this is kind of okay for a start. It's not not the most accurate, but uh, I think it's pretty okay. So I'm using the same principle on this this guy. It seems to be more complicated, but just actually it's same thing. Position, noise. I can add uh, some distortion, and I'm using color ramp to control the actual noise and whenever uh, actually wherever there is surface the worms will actually move around maybe I should have inferred it I should have inferred the the surface but anyway uh, currently it's just pretty much I'm deleting geometry based on the noise value and then I'm also using set position noise texture just adding the adding the position together with the noise and then so I have the new surface the new surface if we if we didn't didn't do the del deletion it's basically just a displaced surface okay so I assign material and join geometry the other part is where we have the the worms this metal looking worms so what are those so the metal worms is basically just instance uh, a bunch there's a bunch of hidden worms so this there are 15 different variations of these worms so they they are originally just the default cube I'll I'll explain a little bit later we have 15 different worms moving around uh, based on the noise but in this case we are just we don't worry about the noise we just uh, instancing those worms into the surface of this decaying donuts okay so this so I'm using uh, distribute points on surface I can increase this so this is like a lot I can randomize the seed and all we have we need to do is just to instance it pick the instance using random instance and then get the instance from collection separate the children reset the children yes and randomize the rotations so randomized rotation is important just to add more variations to our metallic worms okay so 
well what are those worms actually the worms itself if I select those worms these guys uh, like I said similar to what we have before it's uh, I started with a so this is a, there are two steps the first one is generating line and then disturb it using noise the second one is turning the line into volume turning the line into volume is very simple resample points to volume volume to mesh and just randomize I'm randomizing the the fat how fat the worms actually this could be like a leech so this is how much volume we want to add to the worms seems pretty okay pretty convincing it's not the most accurate the way they are being placed uh, but they're okay so we have 15 of this guy each one of them is slightly offset with the noise in terms of uh, the timing of the noise so they are all different but they are basically just like a line that's drifting on top of the noise okay it's really really quite simple so this is the setup yeah, okay it probably looks complicated but it's actually really simple let's take a look how did I start we have the index blah actually we don't need this index blah I don't know why I have it uh, okay I was thinking to use curve set curve radius I think I have a lot of nodes that I didn't use. Um, so anyway, these worms, I started with a simple curve. So this curve can be really short or really long. This is for the worms. So you can make these worms like super long. Let's keep it simple, 20. Shorten like shorter looking worms they are just moving around drifting on the noise so I resemble the curve using this value so we can have it we can have like more density on the line or less density I just keep it 12 for now so this line goes into this guy so I'm setting the new position the new position is coming just from the noise so get the original positions and then and then offset it using time and then plug this into the noise texture right and this noise texture like I said is being offset this is a 4d noise and I, I offset it differently for each of the worms you can see this like different value and just the worm is just drifting so just adding this together i actually offset it together offset it here so the worm is kind of centered back because somehow with the noise we off we push it slightly off the origin or the pivot so i add them together original geometry set a new position and then what is this okay this is the this is the transform just to set the scaling interesting that I use that but uh, this index and the rest actually not quite not really important I didn't use the rest so it's basically just line that's drifting drifting using noise oh by the way I drifted in the in the z-axis if I drifted in the x-axis yeah see they're just drifting around like that Kind of like a drifting in space because because i'm using the z-axis however because the line grow in the z-axis suddenly we have kind of like worms i did this a couple of times in the past i think it's clearer easier to understand using spherical anyway it's just a drifting worms so i made 15 different worms each one of them with different value of W okay 
and I simply put them inside this collection and then I hide it so I didn't we didn't render it uh, and I'm also using smooth here because I didn't use if I didn't use smooth you can see this is how delete geometry looks like this could be actually pretty cool like a metallic it could be the opposite currently we have like a metallic worms that's eating some kind of skin but it could also be like a real worms organic worms that's eating the metal <laughs> yeah it's pretty cyberpunk it's pretty crazy so we have the monkey head again we can I'm using smooth if I get rid of the smooth it's like this the monkey must be has it has more density than the donuts I can subdivide more so we have more resolutions or less this noise we can actually play around with this including the distortion yeah so like I said this is like not the most accurate because the worm is just scattered randomly it's not really the worm is not eating the surface maybe in the future we have something that's more accurate um, this is the noise that's making the displacement on top of the surface so it feels like more like decay looking object so eating maybe too much is being eaten let's bring back some skin so yeah the worms we can control the density of the worms like that oh yeah too much and if it's too much it's slowing slowing down blender but overall I am quite happy and look it works pretty well on Suzanne okay so from far away it looks kind of okay it looks like a like a real rotten donuts and rotten monkey head all right so thanks again for tuning in hopefully this is useful and I'll see you next time thank you bye